the coin magically becomes visible. <laughs> Two, three, just like that. Ah. <gasps> How, Dad? What's good? Welcome back to How to Magic. Oh, 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 magic. I am your host, Evan Era. Today, my lovely daughter Ava and I are showing you seven do it yourself magic tricks. Do you like to do it yourself? So, if you're ready, hit that thumbs up button for us and let's go. Okay, this is a cool trick that you can do at home with a balloon and a candle flame. Take a look. Okay, check this out. You're going to take a candle and light it up. Now you're going to take a balloon. These are our Laugh at Life balloons available at EvanEraTV.com. Take a balloon, blow it up. And then once you have the balloon inflated, you're going to hold it over the flame of the candle. As expected, the balloon pops. Now here's the amazing part. If we take a balloon and fill it with water, now watch. You can take the balloon, go right over the flame, and look, it won't pop the balloon. <laughs> Here's the setup behind this amazing magic trick. You're gonna take your balloon and stretch it over the nozzle of a faucet and just fill it with a little bit of water. You don't need a ton in there. You can come right back over to the candle. Fill it the rest of the way up with air. The water inside the balloon displaces the heat and stops it from popping. Isn't that crazy? So because the water displaces the heat, the flame can literally scorch the latex of the balloon and it won't pop. It's so crazy, absolutely just defies the mind. How could it be burning the balloon just like that and then not popping? It's crazy. So grab yourself some Laugh at Life balloons and try it out at home. And that is how you do the magic fire and the balloon trick. Okay, this is a classic pick a card, any card trick that anyone can do. Take a look. Okay, Veronica, so I have a cool card trick to show you. I have a deck of cards here. They're all different throughout. They're not all the same card. I'm not trying to pull a fast one on you, right? They're all different. Yeah? yeah? Okay. Uh, so just pick out any card you want. Just pull one out of the deck. Any card at all. Perfect. Got it? Yes. All right, lock that card in your mind. Make sure you remember it. Show it to the camera. I won't look. Don't all right, look. put it back anywhere in the deck that you want. Let's place it right inside. Perfect. Okay, great. Now, I think I can find your card in a magical way. I can just use the power of my mind. Look. No. Look, I can go through this deck. I'll, I'll see if I can find it. I don't know if I can. Let me try. <laughs> just gonna get a feel for just which Just feeling one. them? Just feel for which card you might have picked. Think of this like one that. right no here. Way. I'm gonna put the rest of the cards aside. Now, for the first time, I, I don't know your card, right? No. Alright, so for the first time, name it out loud. King of Clubs. Ah! <laughs> How? Yeah! Wow! By feeling it? I'll teach you the secret right now. All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal the secret. The secret to this trick is extremely simple and I'll teach you how it's done right now. Okay, here's what you need for this trick. A deck of playing cards and a magic marker. You're gonna take your marker, you're gonna open up your cards, remove them from the box, toss the promotional cards aside. You don't need the jokers either. So now you have a full deck of cards in order. On each one of the cards, up in the corner, you're gonna put a little dot. So you're gonna spread the cards out and you're gonna put a little dot in the top corner of each one of the cards. We'll start over here. Put your little dot right there in the top corner of the card. You're gonna do the same thing on all these cards. So little dot right there in the top corner. You don't want to make this very noticeable. Little subtle dot right there. I'm going to go through and do it to every single card and just keep going through the entire deck. I'm going to put the dot in the exact same corner of each card. All right, so once you have all the cards marked with a dot in the top corner, I'm going to gather them up just like this, being careful to keep them in the correct order. You want all the dots to be in those top corners. Now, you're gonna turn the deck around like this. The, the dot is in this back corner on all of the cards so that when you present these to your spectator and they pick a card out, in this case they pick this one, the 10 of diamonds. They're gonna pick that card and then you are going to turn the deck around in your hand so that the dot is now this way. So that when they put their card back into the deck, it is now the only one reversed and the dot will be on this side. So when you spread through the cards, all you have to do is look for that dot and you know that that is the card they picked. And that is a quick and easy way to do the pick a card, any card trick. <laughs> 
Okay, for this one, you're gonna take two solid objects and make them magically pass through each other. Check it out. Okay, check this out. You're gonna take a coffee mug and a loop of rope. This is a piece of rope tied into a loop. It's got a knot right here. Very honest loop of rope. So you're gonna take the coffee mug and the rope's gonna go right through like this. And you can see that is absolutely looped through there and there's no way it's coming off. It's absolutely linked on there. Now, if I hold these two ends, watch what happens. You're like this and on the count of three, watch. One, two, three. And just like that, the rope goes right through the handle of the coffee mug. They can inspect the coffee mug and the rope. There's nothing to find, and it's an amazing trick that you can do right now. Okay, here's the secret move behind the magic rope and the mug trick. Okay, here's how to do the rope and the mug trick. This is very simple. All you need is the piece of rope and the mug. It's all in this secret move that I'm gonna teach you right now. So once you have your rope loop tied, you're going to string it through the handle of the coffee mug. It's gonna go right through this, and then you're going to pick these ends up right here in your hands. This is how you're going to hold it, just like this. You want the knot to be in this hand over here. You hold the mug like this. And on the count of three, you're gonna bring your hands together and this thumb is going to come over and insert into this side of the loop and you're going to let go of that part and it's gonna slip right out just like this. So you're here, the thumb comes into this loop, you're gonna simultaneously let go of this with these fingers, it's gonna fall down and you're gonna slide that out and come right back into this position and then let it droop back down like this. It's gonna look like the mug just popped through the rope. And you have to do it fast, so practice in the mirror before you show anyone. And make sure you're doing this over a padded surface because if you drop this coffee mug like that, on a hard surface, it will break the coffee mug. So you wanna make sure you have a little pad or do it over carpet. Rope goes through, lift, one, two, three. And it goes right through the rope. The best part about this, you can hand this out immediately and there's nothing to find. You can do it with a borrowed coffee mug, you can do it with a borrowed piece of rope. There's no secret knot, nothing to find whatsoever. And that is how you do the magic rope in the mug trick. Okay, this is the magic floating rice bottle trick. Here's a performance of what it looks like. All right, Evan, so I have a really cool trick to show you. This is a little glass beaker. It's called an Erlenmeyer flask. You wanna hold it? And this is a bag of rice. So the idea is, and we're also going to use a pen. We're going to try to pick up the flask without touching the flask. Now take the rice, pour some of it inside the flask. So once you have the beaker filled with rice, here's the trick. All right, so you're gonna take a pen. You can also do this with a wooden dowel rod or a chopstick. All right, Evis, we've got our little bottle filled with rice. We're gonna take our pen mm -hmm. and go right down in the bottle, watch. Right down inside. Now look. <gasps> How, Dad? Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Now watch, look. I'm gonna sit it down. Take the pen out and look, there's nothing inside the bottle but rice. Okay, here's the secret behind this crazy do-it-yourself magic trick. So this is really easy. It actually all works just with the rice and the bottle. So the trick is you can kind of make this a challenge. You could fill up two bottles with rice and challenge your friend. So the key to this is making sure that the rice is loosely packed inside the bottle. You don't want it compacted. Now, if you make one and compact it down for your friend's bottle, you can challenge them and they won't be able to do it. Also must point out, you can do this with like a 20 ounce plastic bottle. We're just using this little glass flask for presentation purposes, but you can do this with a 20 ounce bottle at home. It can pretty much be done with any bottle. So once you've got it filled with rice, you're going to gently stick your pen down inside. And when you lift up on the pen, what will actually happen is the rice will stick to the pen, allowing you to lift the bottle. And it looks like the bottle's just floating up to the pen. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Super cool and super easy do-it-yourself magic trick that you can try right now. And that is how you do the magic floating bottle of rice. Okay, this is a classic card magic trick that you can do at home yourself right now. Here's a quick performance of how the trick looks. Okay, so I have a deck of cards here. We're gonna remove them from the box. I'm gonna have you pick one card out of the deck. You can see they're all different, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, so we'll have you pick one. Let's uh, cut them there. Uh, say stop, whatever you want. Right there, are you sure? Mm -hmm. We can go further if you want. Mm, a little bit more. That. There? Yeah. All right, take a look. Mm, okay. Commit the card to memory. Lock it in your mind. Show the camera. Got it? Place it back anywhere in the deck. Perfect. 
perfect. All right, it goes inside. Now watch. Just like that, your card is banished no. oh. from the deck. It's gone. It's completely really? gone from the deck. It really is. Look. No. Right here, inside the box. There's no way. There's one card. No way. For the first time, tell me what was your card. Eight of clubs. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I didn't, okay, yeah, I'm lost. Yeah, the hand is quicker than the other. <laughs> I guess, I missed it. Okay, here's the secret behind this fun DIY magic trick. All you need for this do-it-yourself card trick is a deck of cards and a duplicate card from another deck. So you need a deck that is the same color back, you like a two pack of cards. So in this case, I'm using the eight of clubs for this trick. So you need two eight of clubs. This is really simple. Anyone can do this trick. You open up your card box and you leave one of the eights inside of it. You can even close the card box up if you want to add some more mystery to it. You're going to take the eight and you're going to force it on your spectator. If you don't know what a card force is, I have a video that will teach you ten ways how. I'll show you a really simple force right now. The eight starts out on top of the deck. You tell your spectator to cut it. They cut the cards and then you turn this one sideways on top of it just like this. You say, okay, now do you know how many cards are in a deck? And they say... No, I don't know where they say 52. Either way, you just want to misdirect their attention for a second, and then come back to the cards, lift this portion off, and then flip that top card over to show them the eight. They will think this is the card they cut to, it's actually the top card of the deck. So now that they've cut to the card, you're going to put it back inside and say, watch. I snap my fingers and your card has magically disappeared. You just quickly spread out the cards, tell them the card is gone. It's not actually gone. The duplicate's still in there. But then we come over to the card box and we show their eight inside. Now, I like to let this moment sizzle for a second. You pull that card out and you let this moment marinate. You ask them for the first time, name your card out loud. And they say, I picked the eight of clubs. And when you turn this over, it is such an amazing moment. Try this one out at home. It's super fun and super easy to do. And that is how you do the magic card to the box trick. It's a fun coin trick that's actually an optical illusion. So we're gonna take a mug or a cup and we're gonna sit a coin right down in the bottom of it, right in the middle, just like that. Now from here, you should not be able to see the coin, but watch. Put the coin in the middle of the mug. If you take a glass of water and pour it inside, the coin magically becomes visible. Now here's the really interesting thing about it. The coin is actually still in the middle of the cup. It's still right in the center. Here's the secret behind this cool illusion. So this is all an optical illusion. It's just the refraction of light. All you do is place the coin in the bottom of the mug right in the center. And you can even use a piece of double-sided tape to keep it in place if you want to. You're gonna center it right in the middle of the mug and say, look, from this angle, you cannot see the coin whatsoever. But when you pour water in, magically the coin comes into view. This is a great DIY magic trick that you can do at home with stuff around the house. That is how you do the magic appearing coin trick. Okay, for this one, you're gonna take a food and make a flame. Check it out. So you're gonna take your piece of peel and watch. Cool. Okay, here are the steps to create this cool effect. Okay, here's the explanation to the magic orange trick. So what you need is an orange, and you're going to cut this open. Our trusty orange knife here. In addition to the orange, you also need an open flame. We're going to do this with a candle. You can also do this on like a bonfire or on a gas stove. So with a parent's supervision, if you're a kid, you're going to cut off a piece of orange here. Now we want to squeeze the juice out of this orange just like this so that we're left with just the peel. So now we're going to use the peel to create our fireball. The essential oil in the peel of the orange will actually spurt out of the orange when you squeeze it, hit the flame, and make a big fireball. So try it out at home. If you're a kid, make sure you get an adult supervision. Super fun do-it-yourself magic trick that can be done with stuff around the house. And that is how you make fire from fruit. All right, guys, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button for us. Be sure to share it on your Facebook or Twitter. Text or email it to a friend. You know what to do. If you liked all those fun do-it-yourself magic tricks, be sure to head over to the Evanera TV shop. The link in the description, we have a bunch of cool magic tricks for sale, and we ship them all over the world. We also have cool Laugh at Life shirts, sunglasses, bracelets, and a lot of other cool stuff. Go check out the website. The link is down below. The new Magic Money printers are live in the shop. The new Magic Fridge Rover, and a lot of cool new stuff is coming soon, so be sure to keep checking back on the site every day to get your hands 
on the new gear. All right, guys, it is giveaway time. I'm giving away seven shopping sprees at EvanerraTV.com. I'm gonna pick seven comments from the comment section below, and you will get to choose anything you want from the Evanera TV shop. You can choose one of our new t-shirts, some sunglasses, a bracelet, or any of our new tricks. The new Magic Money Printer, the Magic Fridge Rover, or any of our classic tricks like the Bite Out Quarter, the Magic Pen, the Magic Card Sleeve, the new Glow in the Dark Bracelets, all are up for grabs from the giveaway. So if you want to win, give the video a thumbs up. Be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. Today's keyword is DIY. Leave a comment in the comment section below. You can leave as many comments as you want, unlimited comments. In fact, the more comments you leave, the better your chances of winning this giveaway. All right, guys, the winners from the last How To Magic video giveaway winners are right here. Send me a message on YouTube to claim your prize. Thank you to everyone who entered the giveaway drawing and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway drawing. Be sure to hit the thumbs up on the video and leave your comments below. If you have a Facebook account, go like and follow the Evan Era TV page on Facebook. We post a lot of cool videos on Facebook too. There is a link in the description. Head over to Facebook and like the page. If you are new to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get all our notifications. You can also check out the Evan Air TV shop right down there. Grab some gear. Check out our other channel. That's our vlog channel on YouTube. A lot of videos there too. And until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.